Deacon Chris Opergaard here. I wanted to share with you one of my favorite stories for story time today, but it's also my daughter's favorite story too when she was growing up, and it's called I Like Me by Nancy Carlson. I just want to share that story with you right now. I have a best friend. That best friend is me. I do fun things with me. I draw beautiful pictures. I ride fast. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> and I read good books with me. I like to take care of me. I brush my teeth. I keep clean and I eat good food. When I get up in the morning, I say, hi, good looking. I like my curly tail, my round tummy, and my tiny little feet. When I feel bad, I cheer myself up. When I fall down, I pick myself up. When I make mistakes, I try and try again. No matter where I go or what I do, I always be me and I like that. What a great story, my friends. I know sometimes in these crazy days in the world, it's hard sometimes to say, I like me. But you know it's important for us to take care of ourselves and say, I like me, or hi, good looking, once in a while. And I know, if you were to think about something that's special about you, you are a loved child of God. You're marked with the cross of Christ forever. And if we end our story time thinking about our faith five, our faith five is an important way for us to connect this story, I Like Me, by Nancy Carlson, to our faith. And I know it's important for us to think about how our faith shows up in every day and every part of our lives. So faith five is about sharing with each other in your home the highs and lows that you might be experiencing that day or over the week. Read a story, a Bible story, this story. But the story that I think about for today is the story in Matthew 3 about Jesus' baptism where God says, I love you, Jesus, and you are special. And that is for us too because we are created in God's image. Jesus loves us and we are Jesus' disciples. So you are a love child of God as well. You could read that story and talk about that as well and talk about what that means to you and your faith. And then take time to pray together. Pray about the things that make your heart happy. Pray about things that maybe make your heart feel not so happy. And then before you're done, remember to bless yourself. Bless yourself with a cross on your forehead to remember those amazing words. I'm a love child of God marked with the cross of Christ forever. Thank you, friends. I hope you enjoyed the story. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.